has the U.S. diplomatic option induced the transformation of Iran from the American policemen of the Gulf to the largest anti-American venomous octopus in the world, stretching its rogue arms from the Persian Gulf through Africa to Latin America and the U.S.-Mexico border? Let's find out. Before we begin, please hit the like button, share the video with your friends, consider subscribing to get notification on when a new video comes out. Thanks a lot, and now let's go back to the video. The diplomatic option has suspended most economic sanctions without congressional consent surging Iran's oil export from 500,000 barrels per day to 2 to 3 million barrels per day, increasing Iran's national income by some $100 billion, mostly dedicated to bolster Iran's anti-U.S. terrorism, drug trafficking, money laundering, and proliferation of advanced military systems. Increasingly, in Latin America, the U.S. soft underbelly. The diplomatic option has consistently overlooked the decisive power of the Ayatollah's imperialistic ideology and their determination to export the anti-U.S. Islamic Shiite revolution throughout the world. Consequently, the State Department has deluded itself into believing that a financial and diplomatic bonanza would induce Iran's ayatollahs to accept peaceful coexistence with their pro-U.S. Arab Sunni neighbors, become good faith negotiators, and abandon their 1,400-year-old religious fanatic anti-U.S. vision, which is enshrined in their constitution. K-12 through school curriculum, Friday mosque sermons, and official media. However, as expected, the mega-billion-dollar bonanza yielded by the diplomatic option, for example, the 2015 JCPOA and the current suspension of economic sanctions has bolstered Iran's global terroristic network, advancing its vision to topple all pro-U.S. Sunni regimes and bring the infidel West to submission, especially the great American Satan, while egregiously oppressing and suppressing Iranian women and religious and ethnic minorities. The State Department's diplomatic option was initiated in 1978-79, stabbing in the back of the pro-U.S. Shah of Iran and contending that Ayatollah Khomeini was anti-communist and therefore potentially pro-Western and a stabilizing element geopolitically holding a Gandhi-like position, preoccupied with tractors, not tanks. In fact, the diplomatic option has dumped the Monroe Doctrine. In 2023, Iran's ayatollahs invest mega-billions of dollars in fueling civil wars, terrorism, drug trafficking, and money laundering throughout the Middle East, Africa, and especially in Latin America. There, they collaborate, along with Hezbollah terrorists, with the drug cartels of Mexico, Colombia, Bolivia, Ecuador, and Brazil, train terror organizations, and set terrorist slipper cells in the U.S. They cooperate with all anti-U.S. governments, especially Venezuela, Cuba, Nicaragua, and Bolivia, testing ballistic missiles and supplying predator drones, attack boats, anti-ship missiles, and equipment for the construction of underground tunnels along the U.S.-Mexico border, which smuggle drugs and Middle East terrorists into the U.S.A. The diplomatic option, including the frail U.S. response to sustained Iranian attacks on U.S. installations in the Persian Gulf region, has aggravated Middle East instability, 
threatening the survival of every pro-U.S. oil-producing Arab regime and is inducing anti-U.S. global Islamic terrorism. It has severely eroded U.S. posture of deterrence, benefiting Russia, China, and mostly Iran, while undermining the U.S. economy and national and homeland security. The bottom line is, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. After 44 years of being fooled by the Ayatollahs, critically undermining the strategic posture of the U.S. and its allies, it is time to reassess the diplomatic option and consider other options such as regime change and a credible military threat hovering above the head of the Ayatollahs. The next video will present the gap between Western conventional wisdom and Middle East reality. For more information on U.S.-Israel ties and Middle East affairs, please visit theettingerreport.com and write to yoramtex at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Be sure to hit the notification button for more videos.